Welcome back to Door King Tech Tips. Today we will be looking at how to set up security levels to work with elevator controls. Let's get started. To get to the security levels, click the plus sign next to your account folder. Then click the plus sign next to system information and now click on the security level icon. The security level screen is broken down into four sections. Security level, time, relays, and floors. First you have the security level section. This is where you select which security level you will be working with and what time zone you will be adjusting. For the security level you can choose between 0, 2, and 30 with each security level having four time zones. Time zones allow you to create different access for the same security level. The next section is time. This is where you get to set up the time and days they will have access to certain relays and floors. Important things to remember when setting up times. When setting up times you are giving access. So the time between the begin time and end time is when the resident will have access. The next thing to remember when setting up times is that you cannot go over the midnight hour. So for 24 hour access your begin time would be 12 a.m your end time would be 11.59 p.m. The section after time is relays. Relays are the doors and gates the resident will have access to. It is important to make sure that the security level includes access to the relay in the elevator. The relay in the elevator should also be checked off in the relay slash elevator table here. Please see our other video on setting up the relay slash elevator table. The last section in security levels is floors. This is where you can allow access or restrict access to certain floors. This section can also be customized by right clicking on the floor number and entering up to a two character descriptor. For example, I will change floor 1 to L for lobby. At this time I would like to give you some examples of security levels that you might use. The first example will be 24 hour access for maintenance and management. The security level is 02 and we are only using one time zone, time zone 1. The begin time is 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. with every day of the week checked, along with all relays and all floors. This setup will allow all access to everything in the system. The next example deals with restricting access to a floor. The building we are working on has a rooftop area with barbecues and a pool. We don't want residents having 24 hour access, so we need to restrict the access to the roof, which is on floor 7. To accomplish this, we will be using three time zones. In this security level 03 for residents, we will be allowing 24 hour access to all relays and floors 1 through 6. Then restricting access to the roof, floor 7, between 10 p.m. and 10 a.m. Let me explain what is happening here in each time zone. Time zone 1 begin time starts at 12 a.m. and ends at 10 a.m. This is to allow access to all the relays and floors 1 through 6. Time zone 2 builds upon time zone 1. So the begin time is 10 a.m. end time 10 p.m. We here again give access to all the relays and now we will be giving access to floors 1 through 7 adding in access to floor 7 for the roof. The last time zone, TZ3, we will be using finishes the day off so the begin time is 10 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. Here we will have access to all relays and then only access to floors 1 through 6, removing floor 7 for the last two hours of the day. There are numerous ways to configure security levels and time zones. The important things to note when using elevators is you must use a security level 02 or higher. Your times cannot cross the midnight hour. And the last thing, when restricting floors, your time zones must build upon each other. And we'll see you next time for more Door King Tech Tips.